Today we're going to do a nature yeah. study video. Yeah. We'll bring you along and show you how we do our nature study. I found a snail inside this. Hi guys, hello. Um, connecting with nature now more than ever, I we believe as a family is a requirement to a healthy life. Um, we usually do our nature studies at home in our in our backyard and pretend we're backyard naturalists. But today we decided to come out to a public park and and change things up a bit. Can know it, nature that is, and understand it. The more we will sense the, the magnificence of it. Because at first, when we started this nature study, I didn't really get it. But the more that I familiar, familiarize myself with my surroundings and the trees and the birds, the more I'm starting to get it. A fairy door. A fairy door. And this is the crystal diamonds. Crystal diamonds from the fairies? Mm -hmm. Wow, is anybody home? No. Uh oh, Joel's going down this hall. Oh. little bog. That swamp? Yeah. The swamp? Yeah. So our goal as a family is to really start to understand or try to the plants and trees and birds in our own area as well eventually the soil types and the weather patterns and um, become little naturalists. That is our goal. There are three secrets to becoming pro naturalist, backyard naturalist, I believe. And the first, oh, Jules, oh, I thought he was running away. Here he comes. Uh, the first secret, number one, is to slow down because it can become really overwhelming trying to know all the plants and trees in your area. But if we just slow down and uh, become calm when we're in nature and to slow our minds down, and it leads. Uh, right into number two, which is use your senses. Um, if we are too much in our thoughts about what just happened today or where we're going next, we can't use our five senses to take in the things around us. The foundation of a naturalist, I believe, is observation. So we try and practice shifting our thoughts from in our heads to out in the real world because there's a lot happening out here. Just sit down and watch a plant, listen to the birds, watch a flower. You'll be surprised how much is going on out there. It's beautiful. And this leads us to number three, I believe, which is a secret, a naturalist secret, number three, is to look stuff up. Uh, field guides or even Google search. Just develop into a routine and over time, you'll become a natural, a pro. This shouldn't be an overwhelming thing. They totally have the right idea. Because a good dose of listening to trees and birds could serve our deadened, anxious culture more than hundred more than a hundred prescriptions for antidepressants. Taking the time to listen and to understand. Maybe you leave. that whatever they were inspired or found, now they record it in their nature notebook. Lennon, what are you drawing? I, this is a, this is, a, and this is a head. This is a blue, this is He was drawing a leaf, now he's drawing little heads. Heads of what? A head of bird. Oh, a bird. What are you drawing, Willow? Um, a 
sea cell and a mushroom. Sorry for the baby crying in the background. He's ready for his nap. But it is absolutely beautiful here. A little bit noisy. Look at that tree. Beautiful. I'm just looking around looking at some of the plants even sitting beside me. There's some plantains. Pretty sure there's plantains really little here because they mow. But that is great. If your kids get a bee sting, this plant draws out poison. You chew it up and then put it right on the bee sting with some gauze and voila. So we had a great day today. Great day.